Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. Today it is a throwback Thursday with Odin's Eye. All right beauties, happy Thursday to you. I hope you are well. We're gonna talk about TV today, but let me dive in and tell you what we're gonna be doing first. A little while back, I asked you guys which of my Odin's Eye palettes I had did you guys wanna see a look with and well, Three of them were very, very popular and three of them pretty much were even. I'm gonna do one eye with the Sea Talk palette and then one eye with the Giant Wolves palette and then I'll use the Hella palette in my third look. Instead of having to choose between all of them, I'm gonna do a look with three of the palettes. I'm first gonna go in with the Sea Talk palette. This was a collaboration with Lauren May. I love her channel. They are a cruelty free brand. And here is our color story. I've only used this one time and it was off of camera, so I'm actually excited to use this palette with you guys. And then on the other eye, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite palettes. This is the Giant Wolves palette in collaboration with Annette. They are both, they are both fellow YouTubers. And I like that this one's a little bit small. It's more compact and it opens this way. It has a small mirror in it. They do fold all the way back. I like that in a palette. And here is our color story for this particular palette. And then of course, the third look you will see with the Hella palette. So we'll go in with the Sea Talk palette first. I think for this look, I'm gonna go in with Dolphin Tail and Smoky Pearl, these two shades right here. And then I'm gonna pop this one on the inner corner. That is what I think I'm gonna do. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna start first with a fluffy brush. This is a ColourPop E22, and I'm gonna go into Dolphin Tail first. And we're gonna put this in the crease. I'm gonna stay kinda low just so that I have some space to blend it out with in a little while. Um, I find Odin's Eye Formula to be very beginner friendly, very easy to work with. I feel like they're quite layerable. Um, and for me, they last a long time on my lids, which is super important for me. So these are the shades I'm gonna be using. And then I wanna talk about TV. Brett and I just got done, and I won't do any spoilers, but Brett and I just got done watching Outer Banks. Let me know what you guys think about that. Have you been watching it? And what are you hoping for the new season? Um, I know that that's maybe more of a like teenage show. I don't really care. Um, I like it. And at first we started watching it solely because we were bored one night and you know, we live in North Carolina. So we're like, oh, Outer Banks, we'll try that. But I really like the premise of it being, I feel like it's a little bit more of an updated like romance story meets, you know, a treasure hunt. Um, if you've not watched it and you like stuff like that, highly, highly recommend. I am also currently watching RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm watching the All Stars season. So I'm excited about that, no spoilers. Um, I love RuPaul's Drag Race. I've literally watched it for years and years and years and years and years. It's one of my all time favorite shows. Um, I also really love cooking and baking shows, like anything with like Chef Ramsay or something like that. I'm digging, I'm into it completely. Um, but yeah, what are you watching right now? Do you have any recommendations, any good movies? Um, also, have you seen the new Little Mermaid movie? I really wanna see that. Small pinched brush going into Dolphin Tail still, and I'm just gonna bring that down to the lower lash line. But I wanna see that, and the new Guardians of the Galaxy. There's so many movies I wanna see right now, y'all. And I always say that I wanna see a movie, but then I never actually go to the movie theater to go see anything. I need my mirror close. But I never actually go anywhere. <laughs> I kinda wait for them to be like able to be purchased or watched on like Amazon or something like that. I did get the Avatar movie on my Amazon Prime. I really liked it a whole, whole lot. My brother really liked it a lot. We rented it when he was here. Um, I don't know why it's getting such mixed reviews. And of course, obviously we all have different wants and needs and likes and preferences, but I thought it was beautiful. I just think it like cinematically, I think is absolutely stunning. I just, I don't know. I love the freaking Avatar movies. And it may also be because it was partially like as an, a nostalgic thing for me too. I'm just taking this and kind of doing little tiny circular buffing motions just so my edge can be nice and blended. But I don't know if it's a nostalgic thing, you know, because I saw the first one. So maybe I felt like I had to see the second one. I don't know, but I liked it. I really, really enjoyed that movie. And let's talk about old school shows and movies and stuff like that. I want to know, obviously I'm 44. So what, you know, my preferences are as far as old school stuff might be slightly different from other people, but I miss old school shows. Like I really wish that there was a channel and maybe there is, and I'm just, you know, ignorant to it and I don't know about it. But I wish there was a channel that basically showed like all the old school stuff, but not like old, old, you know, not like Westerns and stuff. Nothing wrong with those. If you watch Westerns, honey, you do you. But shows like 
227 and Facts of Life and stuff like that. I really miss those types of shows. And then I would love to see like all the 90s shows be brought back and have a channel to watch those on. Like all the old school like TGI Friday type shows. Obsessed. I would love to see those. I'm going to go in first just dry normally. I feel like I don't need any type of base or tacky primers or anything like that with these. I'm going to go into the Smoky Pearl and put that all over the lid. And as you can see, it's a beautiful, like, taupey, more neutral shade, but it has a lot of shimmer to it. I think it's going to be beautiful. And I'm going to try to also keep this pretty low. Oh, my gosh. That is like diamonds on the eyeballs, y'all. Ooh. And I love Lauren. I know I'm getting off the subject, but I love Lauren. As far as content creators go, especially, like, larger creators, she is more like me more like kind of my aesthetic she's very much going in with a flat brush she's very much like more minimal but then she loves like shiny and shifty and stuff like that which is you guys know i'm less is more but i love a good metallic i love duochromes and multi-chromes and stuff like that and i like that she's not problematic or anything like that she's very open and honest she will give you you know feedback on everything but she's not an a-hole about it which i really really love and appreciate I'm also going to put this on the lower lash line. I actually feel like I should have done a sticky base because the little glitters are going everywhere. I don't always mind that. We can clean it up. No big deal. But um, she's definitely more my like aesthetic. She's, you know, like very soft, kind of like glowy skin, less is more type of approach. Um, loves tons of blush and stuff like that. So I love her and I'm so incredibly happy for her. I believe at my time of filming this, I think this is still available, um, but I knew I had to have this. And it's not necessarily my color story, but I just wanted to be supportive of her. And I love Odin's Eye, so I assumed I would like the palette. And so far, I mean, I do. I've used it one time before, right around my birthday. And then today, everything is blending well. Everything is building up the way that I want it to build up. I am gonna try to go in with a tiny pencil brush, I think, and pick this shade up. This is Electric Kelp, and I want to pop that on the inner corner. Whoa, yes, that definitely picked up great. <laughs> That's pretty. I cannot wait for y'all to see this up close, like the sparkle in this. Oh, lovely. It's lovely. All right, so I'm going to switch over to the Giant Wolves palette. That's literally it for this look, and then we'll do mascara and liner and all that when we're done with this particular look. So again, this is the Giant Wolves palette. I'm going to go in with Azure and then eternal so these two right here and then i think i'm gonna put this one on the inner corner and actually let me swatch the ones that i used from the sea talk palette and then i'll swatch these for you as well so we went in with dolphin tail we went in with smoky pearl which is so much more beautiful than i anticipated and then electric kelp so here are those shades that we just used from the sea talk palette and our shades I'm going to use in here. I may add a blaze, which is that kind of fuchsia shade. Um, if so, I'll swatch it and show you close. Um, but we have Azure, Eternal, and Astral. And then I'm going to go into Azure first on a short smudger brush. And I'm going to start kind of creating a wing type shape first. And I always, especially having hooded lids, I kind of tilt my head back a little bit. I will make a little line, kind of like a line of demarcation there so I know where to start. And then I want to make sure that I take this above my hood. So you can be as precise as you want to be with that, but it just kind of lets me know, hey, your wing needs to be here. And you can always go in with a and you can always go in and clean it up after the fact. You can also use an eye tape. Um, I'm only using this on the outer corner, so I don't feel like I need it. If we get a little bit of fallout, we'll just clean it up. Um, and with this, because I want kind of true opacity here, you can see I'm stamping and pressing the shadow into place first. And then I'll go in and kind of blend it out as I need to. But speaking of 90s shows, which was your favorite or which even, you know, if you're older or younger, you know, what's your favorite TV show that you miss? Um, and then what is your guilty pleasure TV show? One that maybe you feel like I should not be watching this. For me, I feel like when I sit down and I cannot find anything to watch, I end up watching Spongebob. And I don't know if it's just because, you know, it reminds me of my son or because we used to watch it together or whatever, but that is my little guilty pleasure. I also really like Teen Titans, but the original Teen Titans, um, obsessed. And then I can always watch Scooby-Doo at any time and I can watch Tom and Jerry at any time. 
what is a show that you could watch just anytime. Now I'm taking another brush and I'm gonna softly start buffing the edges just a little bit. I don't wanna take away too much opacity. I just wanna make sure again that my little gradient is there and you can take your time doing this. Um, and a lot of times, especially while I'm filming, especially because I talk too much and you know, my ADD brain, my anxiety brain, uh, doesn't always cooperate with me. I can get a little bit overwhelmed and I can talk too much, as y'all know. <laughs> So sometimes I will kind of half do my look, I guess, or kind of do a look that, you know, it's showing you what to do and it's, and it's a true representation of what the look is supposed to be or going to be. But then I'll get off of camera and prior to doing photographs, I will like obviously touch it up and stuff like that. And I definitely try to represent myself in the, you know, most authentic way. You guys know that I'm not a big fan of you know, over editing and stuff like that. I don't use filters and stuff. Um, that is just my preference. And also, you know, I cannot be a channel of, you know, body positivity and positive affirmation and then I'm not being true to myself. You know, I cannot sit here and tell you guys, be true to who you are and be the best version of yourself while I don't look like myself on social media. You know what I'm saying? So you can see I have kind of true opacity here and then I've just kind of fluffed and blended my edges out. And that is literally it. I'm gonna go in with my finger with Eternal. And if you wanna use a glitter glue or something like that, by all means, you can. And oh, you guys, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna bring it over almost all the way. I wanna save some space in the inner corner. And then where this shade and the blue meet, I'm going to tap that line of demarcation first. and then build it up a little bit over here. And then I'm gonna go in with that same exact brush that I used to place the blue down. I'm gonna make sure it's as opaque as I want it to be. And then in between those two shades, I'm holding my brush at the very, very end of the brush that gives the least amount of pressure. And I'm going to kiss that line with this brush. I'm barely putting any pressure here, and you could also just use a little fluffy brush, but because this has a little bit of that blue shade on it, it should allow for a nice gradient between my shimmer shade and my matte shade, and it does, and it looks so freaking pretty. I'm also gonna use the same exact shade, and I'm gonna come to the lower lash line, and because I want full opacity again here, I'm going to stamp it in place first. I think I'm only gonna come about halfway and I think I am going to do that pink just because there's like a peachy pinkiness kind of to this shade right here. So I'm going to go into that shade. I want to add a little bit more of this right on top. Oh, you guys, it is stunning. And then with my pinky, I'll go into Astral. Again, if you want to use a silicone applicator, you want to use a brush, whatever is your preference. There is no wrong way. Whatever makes you feel like the best version of yourself. And I'll put this in the inner corner and sweep it up just a little bit. I'm gonna go into a detail brush, no additional product on it at all, and just kind of feather that into the other shade. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Ablaze, which is that kind of beautiful hot pinky magenta shade. Again, stamping it into the lower lash line. Then that is it for both looks. For the right eye, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place, the Nubian Eyeliner in the shade Royal. It is a beautiful, deep, stunning royal blue. And then in this side right here, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Auto Eyeliner in Super Bright. And then I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Tubing Mascara, and then I will be RB. All right, here are our first two finished looks. And I did go in with some P. Louise Lip Oil. I will be back for our third look.